So when you finish your sculpture, it's going to go from leather hard to bone dry if we leave it unwrapped. And we got to get it back to school. And this can be a very fragile project. So I'm going to talk about a couple ways that you can transport your project back to school so that it's nice and safe. Um, the first thing we want to do is make sure you've refined everything, you've added textures all over, and your sculpture is exactly where you want it to be. Now what we want to do is protect it so it arrives back to school, ready to be fired without any cracks, without blowing up. So big thing to think about is just check your attachments, make sure they're no bigger than your thumb. Um, if they are, you should have hollowed out that sculpture and made sure that there are um, no cracks and it's just kind of refined. The first thing you want to do with your project whenever you're done is you want to loosely wrap it in this plastic. Uh, the reason why is we don't want air getting to your project. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it in the bag and you're going to be very careful at this point, uh, especially if you have attachments that kind of come out like my wing or my feet. You want to make sure those are safe. So what I'm doing is I'm making sure everything is wrapped. It'll be my job once this gets back to Delta to remove it from the plastic and put it in the kiln. It'll dry out there. But right now we want to keep it kind of in that leather hard stage. Notice I did not add any water to it. I want to keep it in the exact same space. So I wrapped it loosely in plastic. Now your first option for getting it to school is to put it on the wearboard. You can write your name on a piece of tape on the wearboard or on your plastic. Hopefully you've signed your project in the bottom. And then you can carefully transport the wearboard back to school by holding it like this. Now, this will work, but it requires a lot of care. If you're driving in the car, you want to hold it close so that your project doesn't fall. Um, when you bring it back into the room, you'll set it on the cart, and I will be responsible for it from there. Now, if you want a better way to transport it that can keep it safe, I suggest grabbing a cardboard box, something even like an old shoe box. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to open it up, and we want to fill it with a soft material. Now this one still has a lot of the paper left over from whenever I purchased my shoes. So I'm going to kind of keep that in there. And I'm going to fill the bottom portion of the box with some paper. Um, this could be newspaper. It could be old plastic grocery bags. It could be toilet paper, paper towels. Anything that's soft and is going to create a soft bed for your project. So once you have that, you can place your project in there. Hopefully it's not coming out beyond the box. These feet are pretty fragile, so I'm actually going to put it the opposite way to kind of protect it. And again, just be very careful with your project at this point. Actually, as I'm moving that, it's distorting my feet, so I don't want to do that. Um, so I'm going to put it in the box, and then I am going to fill the rest of the box with some paper as well. Um, so I have these old desktop calendars off to the side um, that were given me. These were papers that were going to be recycled, and I'm just going to fold these up and put them around my project. Now, if you have small areas, one thing that you may want to do is rip paper up into small pieces and crumple it so it fills that area. Our goal here is we're creating a cushion, kind of like in an egg drop. It's not the fall that breaks the egg. It's the stopping of the material. It's kind of the, the sudden going from moving to stopping that's going to index your project. So we want to create a cushion to kind of slow that movement down by filling it with paper or plastic or anything around it. Um, what I'm going to ask you to do is after you fill this, if you can close the box, close the box, and put your name on it, and then return it to Delta where I will fire it, and I will repack it back in your box, and you'll be able to come get it, take it home, put a cork in it, paint it, and then you'll be able to use it. So my project is packed up. I'm going to take it back to school to get fired. Again, you can transport it on the wearboard carefully or you can pack it with materials around it in a box.